Hey everyone, it's Cell. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a quick haul. I stopped in at Michael's and all of their Christmas stuff was 70% off. And then of course I had to go to Dollarama because they are in the same complex where I live. And I'm going to give you guys a quick rundown of what they had. So as I said, the Christmas stuff was 70% off, so I'm sure they'll be in grab bags and boxes within the next two weeks. But the first thing that I picked up before it runs out is just a mini loaf pan. I thought this would be really fun for doing um, banana bread if you were to like give it away or even if you just want to freeze it for yourself. I know that when you make treats like that for one person or two people, they tend to go bad before you eat it all, so I thought this was a fun way of doing it. This was $24.99 Canadian, um, so it was about $8.39 Canadian, I believe, 70% off, which is a great price for um, any sort of pan. The next thing I picked up was the Christmas Cottage uh, paper pad. This is $16.99, but I got it for $5, and it looks like this. I have a scrapbook page I want to do where we went um, ice skating at like a little resort and I thought this paper pad would be perfect, specifically this one right here. So I picked this up even though I have so much Christmas scrapbook paper already, I definitely did not need this. And then my Michaels had a bunch more Christmas stuff but I didn't really see myself using any of it. So the last thing that I picked up were these tag kits and I saw these full price and I really wanted this one because I thought that would just be super helpful to have just a stamp that you can always use every single year um, but I also thought this one was cute and because they were I believe these were only 60% off they ended up being under three bucks a piece so I grabbed them both and then of course it comes with the cute little tags so I thought this was a really good deal and I'm definitely going to be using this one next year for sure the last things I picked up from Michaels were the Valentine's Day stamps. They actually had some the other day when I went, but I didn't buy anything, um, and then I went back and they didn't have them, so I wanted the dog-themed ones, but they only had these left. I thought this one was really cute, and then they were buy one, get one free, so I didn't really need this one, but it was literally free either way, so I just figured I would pick them up. These are the only two stamps they had left, and it's literally the week of the Valentine's Day drop, so I'm very confused why they're already sold out. And these were $2.99. So on to Dollarama. Um, I grabbed these for my mini fridge. Um, the ice cube tray that I have just doesn't fit in here. The ice cubes kind of look like fruit gushers and I thought that was kind of cute so I grabbed this one because it was small. The next thing I picked up was this really cute bandana for Bear. Um, you guys have seen him lots on this channel. I thought this was so, so cute, and it was only $1.50. It does look a little bit big for him, because he is just a little guy, but I figured I could probably hem it if it's too big. So here is what it looks like. So this is the length right here, and I'm not worried about the length. I'm more worried about the height, but I feel like I could roll it over, and then it wouldn't be as big. So that is something I picked up. The next thing that I picked up was the scoop set that they kind of clipped together. I thought these would just be good for the dog food and like just sugar and flour. It's just nice to keep a scoop in the bin. So they come with the three pack and this, I don't know the name um, brand Edge, but it seems to be pretty decent. So I am excited to use these. And then I picked up this dream journal. I will put a clip here of what it looks like on the inside. I originally thought that this was for like writing your dreams at night that you have, which I thought was cool. Um, so I actually passed on it a couple times, but then I actually went through it and it's more for goals than anything. So you write your dreams here and then it's like, put pen to paper down and write down your dreams. You can add to this list whenever your inspiration strikes. And I will do a little like flip through of this. This was $4.50. I'm so excited to use this. And then I was actually looking for a journal and all of them were lined and they were not very thick paper. And I want to do journaling kind of like how they do it on TikTok where you put like pictures and swashy tape and fun stuff like that. And just kind of do like, in, like when you're inspired, you do like a page off of what happened that day so I'm going to try and do a couple videos on it on my YouTube channel but I was looking for something with heavier paper and maybe not lined and this one came with like mixed papers so it does have some lined but it also has like grid and just regular 
and I thought this was really fun. So it comes with, apparently it comes with six storage pockets. Oh yeah, it does. It comes with them at the back and the front. So I will do a flip through of this really quick as well. This one was $2.50 and I just thought this was a really good start for me. It has a nice heavy paper and I will definitely be making journaling videos in the future, so look out for those. So that is everything I picked up in today's haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you like it, please subscribe down below. I really appreciate it and I will see you guys in next week's video. Bye!